So how do you set a uh, batch file to run on uh, on the startup or actually any uh, software or or app uh, as a matter of fact? Uh, but for this specific purpose, uh, yeah, for me, I needed to run a batch file at startup. So that's what uh, why I'm giving this uh, as the specific example. Uh, so in order to uh, um, uh, to to do that, go ahead and right click on your batch file and then go to uh, share uh, or uh, send to. Uh, and then once you click on the send to, uh, click onto the desktop and it'll create a shortcut. Uh, basically, uh, if there's a software that you want to run a startup, do the same thing. Open up your uh, uh, program files and then go to that, uh, you know, whatever uh, application. Uh, right click on, on the um, uh, executable file and then, uh, you know, send the, uh, uh, and then create a shortcut to the desktop. So now that the batch file or the uh, applications on uh, shortcuts on the desktop, we're going to move those to the uh, startup folder. So the way we would do that is go ahead and uh, open run. So you can do so by pressing on uh, the Windows key and R at the same time. And that'll bring up the uh, run um, uh, command uh, uh, prompt. Uh, not command prompt, the run uh, uh, window. Uh, so go ahead in there, type in uh, shell um, colon startup and then press OK uh, or enter and then it'll open up the startup folder. So now what you would do is go ahead and uh, and right click and uh, you know, cut um, the shortcut files from your desktop and then paste it into the startup folder. So once you do that um, uh, and you restart your computer, those um, the batch file or the uh, applications, they're going to uh, start automatically once you restart your computer. So hopefully you found this uh, video helpful, and if you have, uh, make sure you um, like this video. Uh, maybe you know, uh, leave a comment below. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, feel free to go to my blog yanhang.me. Uh, follow me on Facebook, um, Twitter, Instagram. Feel free to also subscribe to my mailing list.